The CDC now requires a return negative COVID test for travel into the United States from an overseas or international destination. And I've got some insider secrets that are going to help you with your return test. What type of test is required? What's the time frame before travel that I have to take the test? And did you know that not all persons coming back to the U.S. are required to have a COVID test prior to travel? Maybe you're one of them. Hi, I'm Larry Gelwigs, the Getaway Guru. Welcome to my travel channel. The purpose of the Getaway Guru is to help you see the world, travel more, and pay less. And if you're new to my travel channel, the Getaway Guru, please remember the big three. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and if you like this video or any of my other travel videos, please give me a thumbs up at the bottom of the screen. As I mentioned, the CDC has expanded its negative COVID test results to all persons entering the United States from an international or overseas destination. Travelers must take a viral COVID test. That's like a PCR or viral antigen test within 72 hours of the travel time or departure time. Now, you're going to ask yourself, is this good news or bad news? I think it's great news. You see, we all want to start traveling again, don't we? But we want to do it in a healthy and safe manner. And for me, having everyone around me test negative for COVID, well, this just gives me a great sense of security and a new level of confidence. Now, I'm also pleased to report that uh, some hotels are offering the testing services right on site at your hotel. And many of them are now offering it absolutely free of charge, while others are uh, have an additional cost attached to it. Now, this is something you want to check out before you book, because it can save you a lot of money on the testing side. Now, in the unlikely event that you do test positive for COVID, the first thing you want to do is be retested, because there are false positive test resorts, uh, reports out there. But Many of the hotels, as part of their promotion and encouragement to get us traveling again, are saying, listen, if you test positive, we're going to let you stay at the resort, provide your meals and appropriate medical care absolutely free of charge. Others will be doing it at a reduced cost. Again, this is a good reason to work with a professional travel counselor who can guide you through what seems to be the ever-changing rules and what countries and resorts will do and won't do to help make it a safe experience. Two of my favorite vacation destinations are Mexico and the Caribbean. Now, I want to highlight two hotel companies in Mexico and the islands of the Caribbean that are currently offering on-site, meaning testing at the hotel, absolutely free of charge. First are the Charisma Hotels. It would be the El Dorado, Azul, and Nickelodeon. And I also really like the Playa Hotels. Now, this will include the Hyatt Ziva and the Hilton all-inclusive properties. Now, there are others in Mexico and the Caribbean and elsewhere that are offering the testing on-site, free of charge, and as I mentioned, others may be charging for it. Again, check before you go. Now, I'm also asked, Larry, do you think all hotels will be offering on-site testing and doing it free of charge? No, I really don't think so. I think you'll see more on-site testing and free testing in vacation destinations, particularly sun and fun. Now, this is going to be Mexico and the Caribbean, perhaps some other destinations in Latin America. I think we'll see less free testing, and only time will tell, in Europe when Europe opens up again, say, or Asia or the South Pacific. I think you may have a charge with some of those. Now, looking back to Mexico and the Caribbean, when the CDC announced uh, the new requirement for COVID return testing, 
all the hotels seemed to see a price gouging opportunity. They jumped on the the profit taking and they all were having charges associated with the testing. Most of the charges that I were seeing were in that 125 to 175 cost. I got to tell you, I saw some hotels that were charging over $300 per person. In fact, one, it's a really good hotel, $389 per person. Well, as I said, this was nothing more than gouging. But then they started to think about it and started saying, well, gee, if we charge this much for a test, will that disincentivize people to come? Will they look at other destinations? So a few hotels said, well, listen, we'll offer it on site. We'll do it free of charge. We want visitors to come to our island, our destination, our hotel. Well, as soon as a few started doing it free, you know what happens. It was a domino effect and more and more and more hotels are now offering it free of charge. All No, and you won't see all of them do it. So this, again, highlights why you want to use a professional travel advisor. Now, let me tell you two other questions that I'm asked. They say, Larry, what about Tahiti? Yes, Tahiti and French Polynesia does require a return COVID test. But here's what's interesting. At the Tahiti International Airport, it's called Fa'a International Airport on the island of Tahiti, the city of Papiete, right at the airport within one to four hours prior to your departure, you can get tested and it only costs 40 bucks. You'll get the results within 15 minutes. Now, this is fantastic because uh, you can be traveling anywhere in French Polynesia, uh, Morea, Bora Bora, the Marquesas Islands, or any of the islands of French Polynesia And you don't have to worry about finding a clinic there to get your test. You can do it right at the airport. I'm also asked about Hawaii. Larry, do I have to have a return COVID test coming back from Maui or the big island, uh, Oahu, Honolulu? Well, last time I checked, Hawaii was still part of the United States. So no, you don't need a return COVID test to come back from Hawaii. But do remember, going to Hawaii, you will need to have a negative COVID test. And again, this is a great thing. We know that everybody on that plane going to Hawaii has tested negative for COVID. We now know that persons entering the United States from an overseas or international destination must have a negative COVID test result before returning home. Here's the insider secret that I promised you. Not all persons are required to take the test. So who's exempted? You see, the current CDC rules only apply to persons traveling by air. If you're coming back to the U.S. by cruise ship, once cruises start again, you are exempted. Or if you're crossing the border by plane, train, or automobile, you're exempted. And there's also some interesting language in the CDC rules that I picked up. It states that if you've had COVID within 90 days of your travel date, you've fully recovered and you have the proper documentation, these rules don't apply to you. Now, another question that I'm getting almost daily is, Larry, if I have the COVID vaccination, am I exempted from the return COVID test rule? Well, I think it's going to change, but right now the answer is no. You will have to take the test. As I said, as more and more people get vaccinated, I think that's going to change. In fact, the European Union right now is discussing changing their travel policies to allow overseas visitors, such as U.S. residents, to come into Europe, the EU, if we've had a uh, COVID vaccination. Now, in the descriptions below, I've got all the CDC rules. Just click on that link. I do encourage you to read all of them. Well, the big question, I want to go, where can I go? Well, I'll tell you where to go and how to get there. I think the best resource is the Columbus Travel blog, Where Can I Travel? You'll find a link in the descriptions below that will take you to this uh, blog. And what it does, it has a list of countries that are open and welcoming 
to U.S. visitors. You'll note that that list is not alphabetical, but rather it's, it's listed by ease of entry and entry re uh, requirements. Another really good source of travel information as it's constantly changing is maintained by the U.S. State Department, travel.state.gov. There is a link in the des descriptions below that will take you right to the, uh, uh, this website. Now, on the State Department website, click on International Travel, and on the follow-up page, in, on the kind of about midway down on the right-hand side, you type in the country you're going to be visiting, and you'll see a drop-down menu come. You click on that drop-down item, and it'll take you, and there's all sorts of information there about vaccinations, COVID, uh, immigration, currency, visa, and very important, the location of the U.S. embassies and consulates. Now, I got to tell you, I'm having so much fun with the Getaway Guru Travel Channel. I've traveled the world years ago. I used to count the countries that I visited. And you know, years ago, I stopped counting at 100. I guess I had to go back and see uh, there's very few places I haven't had the pleasure of visiting. But why I'm enjoying this so much is your feedback, your questions, suggestions, comments, your recommendations, your experiences. And where do you put these? In the comments below every one of my videos. And uh, I'd love to hear from you. And we can all learn from you. And so I make you this promise, every comment, question, anything you write there, I will personally answer it. Well, we know all about uh, the return COVID test, don't we? Do look at all of the links in the descriptions below. And if you're new to this channel, please remember the big three. Subscribe, turn on the notifications, and please give me a thumbs up if you like this or any of my videos. So, for the best travel deals on the planet, give us a call at Columbus Travel, 800-373-3328 or online at columbusvacations.com. Stay healthy, stay safe, and as always, happy traveling.